Hey, what's up? Good evening to all you Bowen Beautiful fans. I'm Justin Fleming, and I'm here to give all you my review on today's Bowen Beautiful Thursday, August 24th, 2017. Now, today's um, Bowen Beautiful um, pissed me the, the hell off today. It really did. I mean, Bill, man, I just I just cannot get over this man. I mean, well, I'll, 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 I'll skip it for that later and then skip today's. At Forest Street, now, Forest Street Creations today, um, Brooke reveals to Steffi and Ivy that Liam and Jared seem to enjoy Sally's preview, which irked Bill. St Steffi doesn't care what Sally puts down the runaway as long as it's not their designs. Ivy remarks on Thomas' ill trip to New York. And B Brooke wonders if Steffi will go to Sally's show with Liam. Steffi won't slam Sally for wanting to make a go of her business. She acknowledges, and she acknowledges that she's had she got a lot of obstacle, obstacles thrown in her way, and it's a fighting uphill battle. Sally Special doesn't give up. And the next one, this one, in Bill's office, Bill wants something, wants to do something about Jerry's incidents that Sally's line will be a success. Liam agrees that if the preview was anything to go by, Special will be in business of a long time. Justin's skeptical, but Jared's backs him up, assisting the designs were electrifying. And literally, literally, literally Liam titters and Bill's unamused. They explain about the electrical fire. Once Jared leaves, Liam presses Bill to print Jared's real review, and a debate breaks out on Bill's lie, about Bill's lie that Caroline's dying. When Liam says Sally's designs are good, Billy suddenly changes his tune, barely grudging and declaring that he won't stand in the way of Sally's success. After Liam Lee and after Liam leaves, Justin asks if Bill meant that Bill replies, "Hell, hell no." Justin suggests he'll build a skyscraper somewhere else, but Bill orders Justin to give him an idea, anything that could cause a spark. Justin muses that a spark is dangerous. Bill could kiss him for reminding of Spectra's electrical issues. He declares that the fashion show will never happen. By this time next week, he'll be standing on a vacant lot with a gold plate shovel. You know what has to be done, Justin. And Justin replies, Oh, I know, Dollar Bill. Man, what, what kind of human being is Bill? And, and, and Liam, why why can't you just tell tell the truth? Why can't you just tell Thomas that um tell him that that um about what Bill's been doing? Why can't you just tell him that Bill made up this little lie that Caroline's dying dying so he can drive a whip, break up to him and Sally? I mean he he can't. I mean it's stupid. I mean what is Bill what is Bill trying to write around here? I bet you this is gonna be really stupid. Very stupid. Now, in Spectra Fashion, Shirley no notes that the success of the preview has nothing to do with Thomas. Sally enthuses to her grams that she's starting to think that she can, she can actually do this. They can actually do this. Shirley thinks the show will be like be gang gangbusters. Sally declares they'll do it without no stunts, and, may and maybe Steffi and her father will, will and her father-in-law will. They see they're legit. Dalila leads them in. In an, in an electrician. Yeah, I know that face looked familiar. That electrician, that electrician, all you saw today in Young Restless, his name was Don Most. He's best known for playing that guy from Happy Days, that, that, that um, ABC show that ran from 1974 to 1984. I mean, 1974 to 1984 on ABC. That was a good show. I love that show, Happy Days. I grew up on that show, watching uh, Nick in the 1990s. Don Most, you know, Don Most, the electrician that the guy played today. And he examines the now the electrician examines who he who, he he examines the outlet where the fire broke out and he announces that the whole building needs to be rewired. And as he exits, Shirley hollers, "What about the plug?" The man replies, "Don't use it." Shirley assures Sally assures Shirley and Dali they'll make make a huge they make a huge success of the line and the update of the building. And she makes a heartfelt speech, proving herself. As a designer, spiritual affections will rise again. No, I love that speech where Sally did. 
And then you know what I say? I say, Amen, Sally. Amen, sister. Preach. Preach. Amen to that. That's why I said today when she was made me that speech about special factions. I loved it. I loved her little speech. Now at Forrester, Liam reports to his wife that he be he and Jared agreed to Sally's designs were good, and Bill claims he's not going to interfere. Sally is skeptical. Liam hopes his father was sincere. Steffi clarifies that she has no issue with competition. They agree Sally's stealing designs wasn't good. But Liam admits he's rooting for her. And Steffi Lifeman concedes she's scrappy. Scrappy. I can believe Steffi saying that she's scrappy. And you know, but, but you know what? I can't believe what she says something about, about criminal behavior, about, um, about St Sally. You're the last bitch to preach about criminal behavior. I mean, you blackmail Bill, and now you want to join forces with him to take down spectral fashions and let your own flesh and blood be manipulated by Bill's lie to think Caroline was dying of an autoimmune disease to drive a wedge between him and Sally. Well, guess what? Guess what, bitch? Guess what? Wait until Spectra Fashions wins, and you will see that Sally is the most dominant female than you are. How you like that, Steffi? No, Steffi, Steffi is real. I can't wait until her and Bill go down. I mean, what kind of Bill, what kind of man is Bill, and what kind of person is Steffi? I mean, Bill's money comes from Spencer Pub, and now we all know that it's the print magazine, Ms. Business is hanging by their soil ink. I mean, why had not have a real beer in there come on the scene and take, try to take over and buy Spencer? That will give Bill something to fight for. Continuing to lose Spectra is no place for Dollar Bill. None at all. But Justin knows what to do. But as a lawyer, he's, he surely is not stupid enough to lie to, lie to, lie to him himself. So if he can get somewhere else, there are like a several degrees of a separation between Bill and the fire. I mean, I can't wait until... No, I can't wait until Lieutenant Hot Dog comes and get in the rest bill. You know that guy who he always eats hot dogs, Lieutenant Baker. I can't wait to. I can't wait until he, till he busts his behind. He busts his ass, Lieutenant Baker for um, to, um for arson. He's gonna, cause he's. I can't believe what he's doing. I mean he. I mean I can't wait until Spectra, um, Spectra Fashions is not gonna be the same without saying with what Bill's doing. I hope he gets locked up for good. One day these days, he's going to pay. I hope Steffi will pay, too. They're all going to pay. All of them. I can't believe what he's doing. I mean, Bell, Bell, I mean, does Bell know, even though, does Bradley Bell, the writer of the show, of the show Bell and Beautiful, know how stupid this is? And how long is going to be, going to be the Sally and Bill show? Or does, I mean, does Bell, Bell even care? Does he, he even care about this, care what he's do, doing? He's, he's going to write something really stupid, because I want... Thomas, Thomas, a Thomas and Sally reunion, not a Liam and Sally romance, because this is going to be really, really stupid, really stupid. Can't believe what he's what he's writing. So that's my little review on today's Bold and Beautiful. So subscribe to me, Justin Fleming. Hit like on my video. I'm out of here. Peace. Have a good Thursday.
wait until